Springbok women's team have been impressive in the ongoing Rugby Africa Cup. Uh, currently out in Madagascar, they beat Kenya 14-0 in their second match yesterday, having thrashed Cameroon 87-0 over the weekend. They face the host nation Madagascar in their final match on Saturday, needing a single point from that match to claim the title and also book their place in the women's 15s global rugby competition. Joining us this morning via Zoom live from Madagascar is uh, the Bok women's coach, um, who's the interim coach at the moment at the box uh, seven uh, at the box women's team that is of course louis kuhn uh, louis coach good morning and thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning on the am report impressive performances from your team in that game against uh, cameroon as well as uh, yesterday against kenya what were you most impressed about from your team's performances uh, thank you very much thank you for for having me uh, it's much appreciated um yeah, I think overall, you know, compliments to the to the to the ladies. Uh, we haven't had much time together before we came here. I think we were together for three days, and yeah, all credit to them for for aligning with what we wanted to try and do uh, in the past, you know, two games. And I thought it was an incredible performance by by all the girls involved. So very proud of them. I think the fact that we played towards our strengths um, and that the girls implemented that throughout the game, even though, you know. When you when you are leading 50 0 you can easily become um, what we call a little bit loose. But um, you know, all credit to them; they stuck to the to the plan that we had, and um, they executed it brilliantly. Mm. Is it also a matter of the fact that uh, you are playing teams that are not really strong opposition in Kenya, as well as Cameroon? What do you make though of the of the level of competition that you faced from these two teams? No, no, I think it's a it's a really tough tournament. Um, Especially the Kenyan side was was is very well coached and was very well prepared. They also brought in um, their sevens players from Japan and players that that, that plays uh, internationally. So they were a very strong outfit. Um, I was actually a little bit nervous uh, when we worked through the footage um, preparing for the match. Um, yeah, but thankfully the girls you know stepped up. And it was a great performance by them. So you're a match away um, from securing um, a win of this uh, Rugby Africa Cup and also securing qualification to the women's 15s global competition um, next year. Talk to me about your team selection now for this match against Madagascar. Is it a matter of now giving uh, players that have not gotten the chance to play more time, more experience to play against Madagascar? Um, talk to me about that team selection for, to, uh, for Saturday's match. Well, very interestingly, um, women's rugby is very well supported in Madagascar. We had nearly a full stadium yesterday, um, and it was a Wednesday, you know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we are playing Madagascar on Sunday, and we are expecting a full stadium. Uh, they're very passionate about uh, their teams, and uh, we, we know we will walk into a very hostile situation, and Madagascar will be very well prepared. So... By no means are we approaching this game uh, to give uh, opportunities for players. That said, um, there are a couple of young girls in our squad that does need international exposure. So we'll find a blend between our, our more experienced girls and, and the younger girls. And that's been the purpose of this tour, was to you know, give um, as many girls as possible the opportunity to play. Um, but that said, again, we will approach this this final game as a as a test as a test match, mm. and we will prepare very well. Mm. Talk to us about uh, this women's global 15s competition, coach. What it mean for the Springbok women's team to actually qualify for this competition? It means everything to us. I think uh, we've spoken it, spoken about it at length with the ladies. Um, that each opportunity for us is a stepping stone towards um, the ultimate goal of. World Cup 2025, and this initiative by World Rugby to to give us the opportunity to play against um, you know top ranked teams is going to be incredible for us. For our for our program to evolve and to go forward, we need to play against the best. And uh, with these opportunities presenting itself more and more, um, I, I firmly believe our goals will will grow, and they will learn, and they will become even a, a much more competitive unit going forward. Oh. We have set our goals as a group, and um, the, the women's uh, competition at the end of the year is going to be a very, very important stepping stone for us. Hmm. 
So you've been with the team before, Coach, um, currently in an interim capacity as the interim coach of the Springbok women's team. What are your plans for the Springbok women's team? And is, is it a fair question to ask due to the fact that you are still with the team in an interim basis as opposed to a permanent basis? Yeah, look, I, I can only take it um, day by day or tournament by tournament. At the moment, I'm only um, here for this current tournament um, in Madagascar. Um, that is within my control at the moment, and I do try and prepare the best I can uh, so that the girls, you know, learn as much and, and grow as much as a unit. And if there's uh, a next coach that comes in after this tournament and he takes over, um, I would love to kn love to to know that I've put them in a place where they can, you know, take the team forward and that we've built a solid foundation. Oh. How important as well is it going to be for the Springbok women's team to actually play, uh, you know, a couple of test matches, the build-up, of course, to the 2025 Rugby World Cup. The reality is that the last time the team was together before this year was that Rugby World Cup in New Zealand. And then um, the team was able to play in uh, um, Europe against Spain as well as Canada. The reality is that the team is not playing much. What are the plans going forward to ensure that they are adequately prepared come 2025? Yeah, I think it's important that, they, that there is some stability for them and that there's some sort of continuity with management and staff. So I think yeah. that, is, that is a priority for SA Rugby. Um, but again, as I said, the girls need to play against the top opposition, uh, competition in, in the world. The more they play against high-ranked teams and better teams, the better they will get. Um, the high performance for me is all about competition. And, I mean, there are girls now here that's got two, three, four test caps. And hopefully uh, the plan would be that when we reach October 2025, we have a group of girls that most of them would have played a minimum of 20 test matches. And our more experienced girls will, be, will have played 50 and above test matches. So you're looking at a group that, that can have nearly 750 test caps when we reach 2025. And I think that will be the goal for us in terms of preparation and experience. All right, Coach uh, Louis Kuhn, thank you so much for your time this morning on the AM Report. All the best of luck for Saturday's, or should I say Sunday's game against Madagascar and that final game of the Rugby Cup, um, Championship. Of course, the aim is to um, win that competition and, of course, qualify for the Africa um, Cup uh, competition and, of course, uh, qualify for that 15th rugby competition that will be taking place later in the year.